What's up, y'all? My name is Lyric Monet, your favorite mystical baddie, and I am here to give you an intuitive message, okay? Okay, so before we get into this message, I'll use my shamanic drum to cleanse the space, clear the energy, and we will go from there. The intuitive message I have for you guys today is you are so freaking powerful, okay? You, I'm speaking to you, you carry the voice of your ancestors. You speak for your bloodline. What you say goes, okay? But be very conscious of your request because you are your own genie in a bottle okay i just seen two 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 if you're seeing two 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 this is definitely for you okay so i don't know why spirit is telling me telling me this right now but they're saying this is gonna happen no matter what no matter the the delay no matter the obstacle no matter the mountain um, no matter if you have people working against you, um, no matter even if you're slacking, it's going to happen regardless. You came here for a specific mission that will be completed. So you have control, but you don't have full control of your physical body. Okay. Someone, I'm talking to someone who has stepped in their calling. Now, when you have stepped in your calling and your higher purpose in this life, you are no longer, it's no longer just you in this body, okay? Just how I said this before, demons can possess low vibrational spirits, by vessels that aren't aware of themselves and they're just engaging in lower, lower vibrational activities, right? You know, or habits. Once you engage in higher vibrational activities and habits, you attract a higher form of positive possession. It's not even possession, it's like a dorsism. I don't know if you guys heard of that, but... Definitely look that up, but um, you have the higher power, eh, higher powers. You have your ancestors and deities that are operating through your body. Now it's I'm seeing that one movie again. I want somebody to please comment down below what it is because I forgot what it is again, but I'm seeing it again. So, like when they're in their brain and it's all these emotions, but they're their own little, you know, like angry, sad, and they they're different colors and stuff like that, and um, they control different emotions and stuff like that or they have to manage it or something like that i forgot but that's what that's what you have going on in your head so you might be a person who thinks about a lot or get tons of downloads you know or you might have adhd or something um you might have had it as a kid but it's like you're always doing something new or you're always you may be a little bit forgetful because your brain just runs at a faster rate than the average person right adhd is not a disability it is a superpower that we have okay we don't need to take pills or drugs for that okay i just seen 444 so um yes stay optimistic when it comes to what you like to receive at this time or in the future you're being called to speak life 
into your desires. Your voice holds so much power, okay? So, I don't know if you guys see my latest picture on my community channel, but I dyed my hair blue, right? So, you know what blue stands for, right? Throat chakra. So, the certain colors, certain colors that you wear puts you in a certain vibration and it puts you in a certain, um, it gives you access to certain energies, right? So, with me wearing blue and it's, it's stuck to me, it's in, it's on my vessel, it's on my skin, right? Um, scalp. <laughs> it has to do with the throat chakra. So, I've noticed that the things that I want to happen actually happens and works in my favor faster than I expect. Another thing that I forgot to mention, but I'm mentioning it now, light language, speaking in your soul's language, okay? So sometimes it might not sound like the typical, I don't want to say typical, but the certain light language sounds similar, right? I'm hearing your light language is different and it's not even called light language, but I want to say soul language, your ancestral language. Um, So there's a certain language that your 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 bloodline communicates at a soul level that can't really be understood by certain groups of souls right but that voice that those words that energy that comes from that language can literally transform your life literally if you're praying in your soul's language is going to elevate and manifest things faster than you speaking in english or speaking in your programmed language right even though your program language, you can manipulate it and stuff. But if you want to advance your spells, if you want to advance your life, if you want things to work faster for you, you have to speak at a certain vibration, okay? So that's one thing that I have definitely activated now, speaking in my soul's language. And I noticed that things are, I feel so much better and things are just working out for me. So uh, say I'm in the car and I'm driving and I don't want somebody to cut in me like cut in front of me while I'm driving I will tell them not to cut in front of me while I'm driving and they won't do it literally like they'll have their blinker on like they're about to do it and then they don't do it and I don't speed up to try to you know make sure they don't do it no they just don't do it and that's just one little example right then you want something to work out in your favor so I for example I'll um say I'm going to ask somebody if I can use something of theirs that I know that they 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 treasure right it's just an example and you know for a fact that they don't let anybody use this right but I want to use it so before I ask them I'm going to be like they already said yes they said I can use it and I picture myself already using it right I speak it in my soul's language though and I can say it through my mind I don't have to say it out loud right so then it literally works because I, I don't want to explain my full example, my true example. I just gave you guys an example of it. But yeah, I just seen 807. That's my time. Okay, but look, for real, if you do what I just told you to do, it's going to literally work for you faster. And you're going to be shocked at how powerful your soul's language is. So there, your ancestors are calling you to use your soul language. So you can, if you're not aware of it, you can literally say, I set my intentions to speak my soul language and say that every day. And then sometimes you might just say things that literally it'll feel odd or awkward to you because English is your regular language or spend, you know, all those other languages. But this is different. This isn't um, heard by many. Your language hasn't been heard by many for so many centuries is what I'm hearing. And maybe even lifetimes. So when you channel that energy, promise you, and then you use it daily, you start praying in your soul's language. It's a whole new you, a whole new something. You just uncovered, discovered, revamped. <laughs> you just renewed something. You will go through a rebirth, okay? So um, wear tons of blue. Your hair does not have to be blue. You can wear blue makeup. You can wear blue shirts. But I guarantee if you could just test it out by wearing blue, say you bought, for instance, you had five blue shirts and you wore them every single day for something that you want so if you're trying to communicate better wear blue you know if you want to feel more grounded within your week wear red and you can even wear red underwear you know what i mean um if you don't want to wear red pants or stuff like that um wear white wear green for your heart you know wear the colors that match your chakras 
um, but be consistent with it because you can do it for one day and it's like, okay, you know, but if you do it every day, because me with this blue hair, I promise you something's changed. Something has definitely changed with me and the way I communicate now. So I just really want you guys to take advantage of that blue energy too, okay? Um, yeah, things will go your way when you wear blue. So you can also say, oh, when you're wearing blue, you can you can activate it. So I am wearing blue to activate my throat chakra um, because your words can shift your reality. You have the gift of gab is what I'm hearing right now. You have the gift of gab. You have the gift of gab. Hey, okay. So, um, yep, 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 yep. Oh, so this card, full moon in Capricorn, the end of a tough cycle approaches. So you could be a Capricorn. Um, you could be dealing with a Capricorn um, or pay attention to the moon phases. But I'm seeing with the end of a tough cycle approaches, imagine you saying, I end this cycle in with i end the cycle of financial lack or of health or of this relationship or this job and i open myself up to new opportunities but saying that in your soul's language while you're wearing blue and saying it for at least seven days a week i just seen 11 11 please please do it please do it because if you want to see change you will receive it you know you just gotta believe you gotta know you gotta know it to be true not even just believing um but yeah, that's what I have for you guys today. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Oh, by the way, I do want you guys to check out my music video that I'm dropping tonight. So when you get off this video, hey, go check my playlist and see, you know, if it's uploaded. Um, it's going to take me a second because I think this video is going to upload like 30 minutes before. But please don't forget about me, okay? I help you, you help me. It's an exchange of energy, okay? But yeah, I love you guys and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.